I see regional cooperation in 2030. Mm -hmm. I would like to see Balkan region and the countries and political elites basically understanding the fact that we need to cooperate with each other because of the benefits of the citizens and because we are a region, whether we are going to be within the EU or not, we're still neighbors. So we have to understand that we need each other, we have to cooperate with each other, not because the EU pushes for it or because the, it's an EU project, but it is because it should derive organically from the region itself. The challenges of regional cooperation in Western Balkans are manifold, but one of the biggest issues that I see and I perceive as a huge problem is bilateral disputes between Western Balkan countries. And here I talk about the visa regime between Kosovo and Bosnia and Herzegovina. For instance, if we want a stronger and better region, citizens should be able to move around from Bosnia and Kosovo and vice versa without a visa. The other issue is the Kosovo and Serbia. Uh, we, are, we, we signed the agreement, we can move freely to each other's country, but the countries barely cooperate with each other. So I believe this is also a huge challenge for the Balkans. Uh, another challenge is that the Western Balkan countries, they cooperate only on a, like limited economic issues, but they do not cooperate on education, which, which should be important, uh, and, uh, and youth cooperation and, and new generations, that should be uh, the focus of all political leaders, also the citizens of, of the Balkan region. I believe that you should consider uh, continuing investing in the region and through this I mean Berlin process as a, a connectivity project for, for the Western Balkans and I believe that you should put more effort as an EU and member states to basically continue with amazing projects that they started back in 2015 and materialize it. Uh, what the Western Balkans leaders can do is that uh, they shouldn't deliver because Brussels want, want to deliver. They should really talk to their citizens and make them understand that it is important for us to cooperate, to have one region that is compact, similarly to the Visegrad region, for instance, which was a quite successful project. Uh, as I said before, we are neighbors. We cannot avoid each other. It's better that we cooperate so we are stronger, and once we enter the EU, we are already a strong region rather than a region that holds the EU back.